It's time for the Giz Whiz with Matt's Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1965, recorded Thursday, December 7th, 2023. Giz in Toyland. This episode of the Gizwiz Diggity has not one but two what the heck is it gadgets plus a hotel suite you won't believe and my new crappy corner gadget uh, category all next on the Gizwiz. It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now, now and here he is, the uh, Outback Gadgeteer. You ever had a gadget on a Barbie? <laughs> or had to, had to the didgeridoo concert? I don't Something know. or other? <laughs> Whatever it is. Yes, I'm here. Here he is. Um, how you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good. Doing very good. Um, Excellent. I have I have a little bit of uh, stuff for host chat. What I did over oh, the yes. weekend. I'm a bit proud of. Um. You may, some of the uh, chat room and uh, the audience may remember I talk a little bit about my running and how I've been yeah, yeah, yes, doing yeah. some training for some running. So uh, my first half marathon was this weekend. So I got the medal to prove it. And this thing oh. is chunky. A half marathon is what, 13 miles? 13.1 miles. Uh, I forgot how long it took me, which is probably good just to block it all out. You know, not even, <laughs> not even dwell on it. Uh, ended up taking me two and a half hours. Two and a half hours of running. I am proud. I did not stop running. I didn't walk okay. a, a moment of it. Um, and it was the Orlando uh, Half Marathon. This is the medal they give you. Oh, wow. Isn't that crazy? Yes. This is my first medal. Um, that I've ever wow. gotten. Uh, my placement, <laughs> I placed 900 <laughs> in the 900 range. <laughs> out and there of, were only 800 people running? <laughs> exactly, right. Uh, there were 2,000, uh, around, oh. around 2,500 people running um, that day uh, made it. I think it was a bit less than that, but, but around that. Um, so above average, so can't complain. no that's very that's great yeah yeah that's and it great. was in i have uh i have run the distance of half marathons before um it's not my first time in fact i don't think anyone should probably run a race i don't know i'm conflicted because a race is a great place uh to run a casual run especially if you're just getting started because Everything's the, there's, you got water stations, you got bathrooms, you got first aid, like all the people are keeping you safe. It's a great place to run. Um, but I did train ahead of time, so it's not my first time running this speed, but, or running this distance, but trying to really push myself with speed and distance at the same time. Uh, it was quite the push. It was quite the push. So. And, and where I, do they do it? I mean, here it's mainly, well, here, the marathon, the 26-mile marathon, is all five boroughs. Yes. I have seen the overview map of the marathon. That's, uh, I mean, it's like you go all over. <laughs> you're right, all the boroughs. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you're like, I'm in Queens now. I can't wait till I get to Manhattan. That'll be great. Yeah, so where did, where, where did they do? Yeah, so in Orlando, yours? it is downtown Orlando. Uh, there's, uh, Lake Eola Park is where we started, and, um, we ran all the way through a big portion of the downtown, uh, did a loop back around. I mean, you cover a lot in 13 miles, especially when you're downtown, um, weaving through stuff. Orlando was interesting because there's a lot of cobble streets, there's, or brick streets, oh. um, and, there was times I was like, I have been running for three miles on this like curve because you know the the street would curve. I'm so used to running on sidewalk or uh, or track or or a trail or something like that. Yeah. And on, what threw me off after about ten miles of running was that the the road curved 
And I was so tired of, of running on that curve. So I had to like <laughs> run over to the, to the, uh, the line. Um, oh yeah, it was, it was, uh, running on cobblestones is awful. <laughs> it was, they, they were luckily not as bad as pure cobblestones. I think they were brick, but they still oh, okay. were not fun to run on. They were not great, uh, to, to run on. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that was what I was up to, uh, <laughs> Over the weekend, and um, and I'll have a ten mile run this weekend. Wow! Um, this one I'm super excited about. The Space Force is throwing it, <laughs> like the Army, Navy, Space, uh, 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 Coast Guard, the Space Force, and you oh. get to run oh. on the tarmacs at, at uh, the Kennedy at uh, uh, the Space Coast. Uh, I forget which. Um, where I oh went to go see wow. the SLS. I'm blanking on the, I think it's the Kennedy Space Center. Um, uh, for some reason, I'm worried that that's in Houston. Uh, I can't remember the name. <laughs> I'm worried I'm naming it wrong. But anyway, the one here in Florida, the Space Center here in, in Florida. So you get to run on the uh, tarmac that the space shuttle landed on. Uh, you get to run past launch pads. Oh my um, gosh, that's great. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. And it is thrown by the Space Force, so there's like... <laughs> He's like weird security. I'm I'm not exactly sure if I can like even take a picture of it. Like I don't oh know. My <laughs> I have no idea what it's gonna be like. Uh, I know the parking instructions are. You you can't. You physically cannot put the parking structure that we're gonna park at into Google Maps. It will just not route there. And I can't tell if it's just a bug and no one's fixed it, or if it's like a government thing where they're like. You're not allowed to have people route to this location. Oh my god! I can't tell. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyway, that'll be this weekend. So I'm. A little Boy, that's exciting. Looking forward to, to that. That will be three miles less. That'll only be ten miles. So it'll be a, a bit easier. So. Uh, wow. Anyway, very very what you, exciting. What have you been up to? Boy, nothing thrilling. Um, <laughs> I went to the warehouse and got the Christmas tree. Oh and great! The. Christmas tree. Yes, the, the very famous uh, from um, Honor and Truth and Honor. I don't even remember the movie it was in, but it wasn't a movie. Um, and then Dennis said, "Oh, you know that tree you showed on Giz uh, Fizz a couple uh, Giz Wiz a couple weeks ago? Give it to me. I'll, I'll do something in the hall with it." So I, I sent you a photo. Yeah, uh, this ended up great. I remember this gadget. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, doesn't that look nice? Gorgeous. So, yeah. And I, I love this table too. Holy moly. It's yeah, cool. well, that's all. Yes, he put pump, he does themes on that table. Um, we used to have a second table uh, near the front door, but the landlord came and said, the insurance company said there can be nothing between the bottom of the stairs and the front door. So your display has to go. Oh my God. All right. But this one they leave because it's between two apartments that I'm in. Oh, good. So they, oh, good. They, they don't care about it. your safety. No, they don't care about me. <laughs> You're not even no, no. insured. They don't. Exactly. No one, uh, um, no one coming down the stairs will go buy this thing. So oh, that's, that's, well, it's that's what, really, really pretty. Honestly, that's a. Uh, it, it looks great. It yeah, looks great. It really does. And, and then. Sunday, we thought we were going to a big event at the New York Public Library on 42nd Street, uh, which is monstrous. And for everybody who had donated $100 or more, they're having a open house with cider and a band and a thing. And when we got off the train and walked uh, um, about a block from the public library we said is this humanly possible this is the end of the line <laughs> and then someone said this is the end of this line there's another line this long on the other block <laughs> because the library is is a block long so i said to dennis you know there's a five below about two blocks from here <laughs> oh it was pouring rain oh no so dennis said I said, no, we're, we're not going to wait because, but if you went in, by the time you checked raincoats and umbrellas, 
So, so I did another run around uh, five below and bought a ton more candy. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, speaking of candy, da 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 da. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh! You yes. got yours before I even got mine. Mine came today. So this is the famous Johnson Fudge. Uh, every Selena and Dane. Yes. Now you used to be part of this, right? Yes. This was like the family thing we did every Christmas, and we'd make this fudge, and uh, we'd give it to teachers a lot. Teachers, friends. Uh, oh, neighbors, sweet. family members, um, and I mean, there were some years our kitchen looked like a cottage industry factory, like stacks on stacks of of uh, cookie trays with fudge in them. Wow! Um, as a kid, I would break the Hershey's bars. You'd buy the big, large ounce Hershey bar. You'd kind of crack it so it would melt uh, faster. My dad would be stirring the sugar. Making oh sure that gosh. all melted, uh, keeping us safe, keeping us away from the hot sugar. You know, we learned, you know, if, if this sugar yeah. gets on you, it'll stick. It smells great. It smells yes. great, but yeah. yeah. So that was uh, that's lots of childhood memories around making fudge, and they still make fudge and and uh, oh, it's it great! Out. It's so, great. Same it's recipe. Great. That's great. Super. So Super. she probably sent over one with pecans and some uh, exactly without. with pecans and one no pecans, but. The kitchen had nuts present. Right. Was she ta was she talking about the, some of your family members? I think she's uh, taking a jab at my dad. Honestly. Oh, okay. There were some, okay. Some nuts around okay. here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, yes, I did scooter. Uh, I don't think they made it in the RV. They did uh, make it home safe and sound after their big trip. Oh, so. great! Great. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Can't wait till I get mine. Uh, uh, okay, well, oh my gosh, we got so much to cover. Uh, okay, yeah, so wait till you see this hotel suite. Here Whoa. we go. Oh, so much travel, I can't believe it. You know, it's funny, you rent a luxury hotel room and you go in and you find someone left like a phone charger or maybe a hairdryer, but whoever was in this room, <laughs> let's see, they left a train. <laughs> I think they left a zebra. <laughs> the poinsettias are... You know, uh, you oh my gosh. calling the front desk. Did I leave a zebra in my room? So we have somebody here who I think can help us. I sure can, Dick. So <laughs> why is all of this great stuff here? Well, this is the FAO suite here at the Omni Hotel at Berkshire The toys? Place. The yes, the FAO toy store. America's oldest toy store. We are 162 years old as of October of this oh year. Oh my God, mm -hmm. you look so young. You must oh, be thank you so water. much. <laughs> and, and the object is you can rent this? Yes, you can rent this whole room. It comes furnished with all of these amazing toys and decorations that you can play with. We also have available like a sort of sort of like an a la carte menu where you can actually order toys that you can oh have sent to your home or we can bring it up Oh, you can you. have the toys sent here? Yes, we can. We can have them brought right to the hotel so you can play with them while you're still staying here. Okay. Now, is this brand new or is this the first year they're doing this? So, we did do this last year as well. We had a different toy soldier last year, Toy Soldier Johnny. He's great. Okay. Um, but uh, I think this is something that we're planning to continue to do for years to come. Okay. It's a great and, holiday tradition. And, and can you rent it year-round? I mean, you wouldn't have the Christmas tree and stuff, but... You can book it year-round. We have it extra special for the holidays, but you can come, say, in June, July, and be like, I want the FAO suite. And they will come, and they will bring all these toys for you to play with. Oh, this is amazing. Can we see what else yeah, we have? Yeah, of course. So these are normally at the door at FIO. Uh, yes, they are. Yes, uh, these are my the friends store. that hang out with me by the door. <laughs> okay. Oh, <God. laughs> oh, my God. King Kong, hang on. <laughs> Kong has escaped. That is a riot. We've got two beautiful FAO Schwartz uh, massive plush here in the master bedroom. We've got oh our gorilla and our elephant God. to keep you company. You can actually buy that in the store? You sure can. You absolutely can. Does he have a price tag on them? I believe they're 1200 if memory no, serves. No, it must be more than $1,200. I believe it's 1200 wow. I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh, he has it. Let's see. And then it's got a little baby. Uh, he's 
1800. Yes. No, just regular old 18 on the, on the <laughs> oh. baby. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> just regular old 18. That would be one expensive well, you know little what? baby gorilla. These, these are very reasonably priced. They are. That's adorable for $18. I love that. And let's see, the bathroom. Oh, my gosh. The elephant and a snake. <laughs> Oh, there's not a duck in the tub. Now I'm really depressed. <laughs> now I'm depressed. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, this is great. Wish I had one of those for my trains. Oh, my God. Oh, a little porcelain house, super. it looks like. Uh, I, I think this is such a great idea. So... There's just one of these suites in the There hotel. is one of these suites, but this suite does have two rooms, like bedrooms. We've got the master bedroom here, and then we have a room that's kind of more like a kid's room, if you'd like to can see it. See of that? course you oh can. Oh, my God. Oh, the, whoa. They, too, look at, they have a kid's, and yet, no duck. Ah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get Mr. Schwartz right on that for you. Yeah, you? I'll, I'll make sure yeah, that there's a duck in the bathroom I, I, I next year. I have a cell phone. I'll give him a buzz. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, oh, the, the famous piano. Yes, we couldn't get the full-size one in this room, unfortunately. It's a little bit too big. Okay. A lot of electrical work, but we do have our piano mats as well as our uh, little, we have a DJ mix mat oh, over my, here. Oh, a running train. And, of course, yes, a train. Oh, my God. Wow. This is huge also. This is, this is still a hotel room. Great. And a unicorn. A Christmas unicorn specifically. He's got a little candy cane horn and some oh. holly. <laughs> okay. Of course, why did I not pick pick up on that? I think this is great. This is such a great <laughs> idea. Um, I love it. Ivy, thank you so much. Oh, of course. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, there's no problem. I'm going to... Just pack up my things and I'll be out of here in four or five hours. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most insane, like, experience that you can book. I can't... Uh, yes, yes. So I said, what does it cost? And she said, I think it starts at... So I, I want you to take a guess because oh my gosh. you know... And those are two beautiful rooms and it's not like... You go through a door. There's no. like a little hallway, private hallway, which is in your room between you and the kids. And they each have those enormous bathrooms. What would your guess be? And the, the location, this is the Omni. This, the, uh, this is the Omni. Um, oh, the, the Omni Berkshire Place, Berkshire. which is 52nd Street between Madison and Fifth Avenue, right next to St. Patrick's. Uh, okay, and, and then and on top of Bro that, do you have to book it for the night? Like, you, can you book it for an hour? Or no, no, you, book you it have to book it for a night. I'm gonna guess, like, t is it thousands? I think it's uh, gotta be thousands. My first guess is like $2,600 a night. Okay, I, I guessed higher. They said, depending on when you are there and what's in the room, it starts at two thousand dollars. Oh, still, I mean, not that's still like a typical person's rent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, or yes, yes, more but, than a typical person's rent. Yes, but compare that <clears throat> when you stay at a hotel near CES. Right. Like, right. I spent two nights at the Marriott right next to the convention center. And it was $650 a night. Yeah. And we're talking about a room with a bed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dealing. Yeah. Yes. That, that might be a great segue into the fact that we have the CES fundraiser. Oh, up and yes. <laughs> up and live on the website. Cause I just booked, uh, hotels uh, for CES and yeah it was this is a busy year so yeah it was uh, it wasn't that expensive but yeah um, 
Yeah, and so um, all the things calculating in, by the way, if you want to give for the CES, uh, head to our website, gizwas.tv. There's a tab on the top of the website, CES 2024 fundraiser. You can give there whatever you give. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is to send Chad and this is Yeah, this is to send me to and Josh CES. to CES to get, uh, we get basically a whole month of uh, coverage from it. Uh, mini episodes of CES uh, gadgets and, and things. So uh, it's a it's a great look at future gadgets. It's a fun experience. And uh, last year, everyone was insanely generous. Uh, whatever y'all can do to help uh, send me there is always is very generous, uh, very appreciated. Appreciated. I can't even talk. I'm so <laughs> emotional about it. Um, Thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, uh, gizwiz.tv, uh, the CES uh, fundraiser is there on our website now. Uh, back to the Omni, yeah, thinking about all the price, like what would increase this price, the amount of toys and the staging and that it's that two room suite, I mean, just all of that is thousands. Yeah. Like I would guess that in Dallas, Texas would ca cost like $1,500 a night. The fact that it's at the Omni, that's, that's a price increase. The fact that it's in New York, that's a price increase. The fact that it's in 52nd Street, you know, like all these things is definitely seems like a very expensive Now, bone. Scooter X is saying that, that, that it might be twice that price. It could also start at that price and only... Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's what it was. Like, you know. if you get it in the middle of the summer when no one's in New York, it would be half that price. Right. But that particular... Oh, he found... Oh, okay, he found a PR release from last year, which was the first... Oh, see, right now... So without, this is like just their the, deluxe room. Do you want the, two beds, the, the, normal room yeah. basically i mean you can't beat the location that's yeah yeah so here's yeah. just a normal suite a thousand you're in the thousand dollar range yeah the terrace rooms i wonder if they have the oh, it doesn't look like they have uh, you know just go up a little because i saw the picture of uh the soldier a little high yeah, yeah. what's it say suite. manhattan suite uh, overlooking the residential suite, separate living room. Oh, th that that's the kind of room I was in where one part was a living room, but the it made into a bed. <clears throat> uh, and then you had <clears throat> a separate bedroom. Oh, uh, it doesn't look like it's. I, I assume you'd have to call the concierge to set it, to set it up. Would be my guess. For that, for this room, you do. Yeah. For, for the um, there's only one uh, F A O uh, suite. That is so yeah. crazy. I love the concept. Uh, it's so New York. You know, it's <laughs> yes. It's like the most New York thing. Also, just seeing that room with all the uh, stuffed animals on that couch. That sent me. I mean, that was like, it, I was just thinking, if I was a kid, this would be the coolest thing. The coolest thing. You got trains, you got you Christmas trees, you got all this stuff. Um, yeah, very, very, very neat. Um, so, yeah, very cool. <laughs> Frosty Moon said, what if you book your stay through AliExpress? <laughs> Just wish toys instead of yes, FAO exactly. toys. Yes. You just you get like yeah. You get, yeah. Like, AliExpress has a deal, but theirs is at 193rd Street. <laughs> this is uh, the same train set, but with genuine lead paint. Yes. Hope you enjoy exactly. it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Let's move on to a what the heck is it? One of two. Ooh. Uh, here we go. One of our favorite things to play here at Disneyland. What the heck is it, Dennis? Uh, it's a brand new gadget. Um, huh. What, Chad? I'm gonna have to it looks like a shaving implement of some uh, type. It's like a okay. vegetable peeler. A vegetable yeah, like a ve peeler. Yeah, does this right. help in the back at all? Oh my gosh, that does not help. Uh, God, no. I have no uh, idea. Is it a mouse? No idea. A that little holder? hole made it seem no. like... A peanut holder? A peanut holder? Peanut oh, you mean down here? <laughs> oh, it does look no. like a peanut. chat room. Mini uh, scrape. Get ready. Uh, uh, I have no idea. World's Wait, first... There's never, never been one before. Edge sensor. 
Huh? It's called the Roll Ranger. Huh? What? A way to find the end of a roll of tape. Wow. It's called Roll Ranger Tape Edge Sensor uh -uh, Instruction Book. <laughs> yes, sensor should be placed flat against the roll. This has got to be on Hold the sides tape. and rotate the roll. Hold it flat against the roll. And then you, I guess you, you rotate the roll. You don't rotate the thing. Yeah. And then there's a red LED light here that's supposed to It's light. electronic? Uh, 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 oh. oh. Is that? Um, oh. You have to be moving it really slow for it to stay on. All right, it stayed on. So the, we know that the edge of the tape is right here. And then you're supposed to be able to put the scraper down. And this, oh. Oh, it is pushing. Oh, oh, okay. All right, it's on the edge. Roll Ranger. Huh. And let's see how much it cost. Here it is on Amazon. Okay, Roll Ranger. Oh, it's, it's just eleven bucks. It. I think it's new. That actually, I th I think the guy who invented it uh, said, "Oh, can I send you something to try?" Um, Four point two uh, out of five stars from twenty eight people, and it, it's eleven bucks. All right. And it, you might want it at this time of the year when you're wrapping uh, presents. That's it. Roll Ranger. That is honestly a great gadget. <laughs> yeah. I will tell you who needs to buy this gadget because I was once the person who needed this gadget. I worked in a warehouse. I was just going to say, if you <laughs> are a shipping room person. We bought the cheapest tape you could buy. This thing was, you know, the tape after it came out must have been less than a human hair. I mean, this thing was like <laughs> the smallest nanometer tape that you could possibly buy. And uh, yeah, we'd have these tape guns and if the tape tore, you know, it, it, it was almost impossible to find the edge uh, if it tore just the wrong way. <laughs> and so this is perfect this is uh, before brian uh, magoo this is actually at a place called t myers magic um i w was their warehouse uh guy i can't believe that it's digital i thought that it was gonna have some physical like click or something when it noticed yeah, it no a and i emailed john and i said john did you invent this and he wrote back and he said uh i was Stop one of struggling. the inventors oh there you go um <laughs> And he, he was out in Vegas earlier this year at the hardware show uh, looking for, I guess, people to help uh, sell it. There you go. Um, and he said he, he has a company. He's not new to inventing. He has a company called uh, Optics for Hire. And when Mattel needed a new lens for the Bobby doll that has a built-in camera, his company supplied that, and he said also for Amazon, they upgraded the vision systems for the warehouse robots. Oh, wow. So, wow. But they're, he's trying to do a breakout gadget, I guess, of their own, as opposed to being hired by companies. So this is, I guess, their first shot at it. That is so cool. So, was it Optics for Hire? Uh, optics it? for Hire. That is and the coolest I, I, thing. I'm not sure where they are. I know he said the Roll Ranger was conceived in Arlington, Virginia, designed in the Ukraine, made in China, and <laughs> named by a chatbot. <laughs> Isn't that funny? We love ChatGPT. We yes, love ChatGPT. Exactly. Oh my exactly. gosh, have you heard about all the Ch ChatGPT drama? You have to have. Have you oh not? yes! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, yeah. All the stuff with uh, Sam Altman. <laughs> oh my just, gosh! Oh. <laughs> he was out for like a day, and oh then he was God. back again, and back, and then he was. Oh my gosh! That was just yeah. crazy. Anyway, we don't have to rehash no, any of that no, stuff. No, no, no. But 
Yeah, there's been some crazy chat GPT. If we were chat GPT reporters, we would have content for so long to talk about there. Um, this is uh, that. This is fascinating. I love this. Uh, I love that someone, uh, the amount of steps in, in things that just seem like unpassable hurdles to get a product to market is uh, things like, even even registering trademarks and making sure that the plastic is up to code and it, well, I don't know do you need insurance for this stuff anyway bringing a product to market just seems uh, so so cool and uh, oh, something you yeah. should be so proud of and honestly this is a cool product like a really cool product and mm. I really am curious about the technology that detects the edge of the uh, the roll. Because it looks so similar to me, like um, um, the same sensor that's on a mouse. It looks like the optical sensor on a mouse to me, um, which is. I I I examine it closely. I believe there's a oh there there you ah. see it. It's like a little. There's a little hair probe sticking probe sticking out. Yeah, that can hit the uh edge of the tape and that is so cool that will light the light and that my guess so is cool. the, I, I guess the <laughs> the battery will probably last a long time since it's only going to light that light like maybe three times a day if you're doing a lot of packing yeah it, it seems like the battery is not replaceable i think it's not replaceable i see Maybe, well, you know, maybe you know under what? those screws. It maybe. might be. It might be. I totally forgot to ask about that. But it does look like there's two screws. Yeah. It does. This person's reviewing them bad on the battery. Say so no replacement information. I assume that this person did a little bit of homework. Um, yeah. But very, very, very cool. Um, there you go. I, I definitely feel like any warehouse should buy this immediately. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, all right, that was uh, gadget one to guess, and now gadget two to guess is this. So what the heck is it? Ta da! Ah, oh. it. Ta da! I don't. Is it a table? Can Starting you unfold it into a little table? To fall apart. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Any guess? Uh, some sort of a fan. Uh, you know, it almost looks like it could unfold to be a fan. That's what I'm thinking. I think this will give it away. What? Spaghetti major. <laughs> you haven't got it yet? Well, Is this maybe leaves? this will give it away. It's so clever. Oh. oh. All right. This it's is like a cutter. Actually, this it's like a Swiss clever. Army knife of things. If you have a boat or an RV, uh, Chad, I should send this to your mom yeah. and dad. All right. It is... Compact kitchen gadgets. Okay, so this is a plan through here to get the different spices. So you leave the stem out and pull the leaves off that you want for seasoning. You get that. Uh, this is a nice pizza cutter. Okay, so the metal is stainless. A bottle, bottle opener. opener. Cheese grater, vegetable peeler, uh, garlic, little garlic. Mm, mm. Grinder, yeah. And yeah. there's more. Wait, wait, there's more. There is. Oh, uh, oh look, said she has one of these. Oh, okay. Now it is dishwasher safe. Comes a little brush. Comes with a carry bag, but this is kind of neat. Let's see how this guy opens. I keep them all together. Yeah, exactly. You can put them in in any order you want, or just or you can along the ones you need. Uh, the way they were in the oh, okay. They lock together. You can put them away in any order you want. They lock together. So I think this is really clever. If you have a small oh, apartment, camping. yeah. Yeah, for camping, yeah. you always get the bottle opener. Someone brings pizza. I definitely don't have a pizza like a cutter on my camping. So you can either put right it now. in a storage bag, uh, put it on the ring. And if you're going, 
<laughs> What's good is, since it's so easy to take apart, if you're going camping, you're probably not going to need the spice thing. Uh, and yeah, exactly. Leave that at home. I think it's a, a great gift for this time of the year. Kitchen gadgets. And I paid... Uh, uh, um, let's see, I only got 54 ratings, 4.6 stars, which is pretty good. I paid thirteen twenty eight, and <laughs> I made the unfortunate mistake of scrolling down and scrolling down 13 and finding, uh, uh, does this not look like it? Six kitchen gadgets for RV camping. Space saving. Say seven ninety nine. Oh, you know what? Here it is again in the same box. Eleven dollars. So, buyer beware. <laughs> this is one of those deals where, yeah, it's not branded. It's just kitchen gadgets. Yeah, that's actually very funny. <laughs> what should we put on the box? Well, we are going to sell this to fifty people. Uh, so. Kitchen gadgets. Just, kitchen gadgets sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. That is so funny. Yeah, there's that $8 option. Oh, right. Someone said there's a $7 one with 1,100 reviews. I think this one might be it. This one has Oh, this is reviews. it. It went up a little. It went yeah. up a little. So the only thing that's different is it looks like, and I read the copy for the one that's $8, is you don't get that little pull string bag. But oh. it's almost half the price. I wouldn't use that thing anyway. Just... Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. The fact that you need that, that it comes with the key ring thing and the cleaning brush. Yeah. This is, this is great. I agree. I agree. Uh, this is, this is, I like the form factor. I like that it snaps together. It seemed like when it snapped together, it wouldn't, it wouldn't uh, bang against each other. I was yeah, hearing... exactly. Exactly. Perfect. That is perfect. Wow. Yeah. There's. Uh, I'm seeing uh, some of the similar options that they have. Uh, sometimes Amazon puts these together. There's one in a different color for a bit more, but I don't see the, the reason. That's great. No. Yeah, me either. And it is a very good what the heck is it, because I was not... <laughs> Uh, it's hard to tell. No, absolutely. absolutely. Shells? I don't know. I look like a... <laughs> I think I thought I saw the uh, the clip the thing that it clipped in. I thought it would stick into a pole and like make a table somehow. I don't know. Oh, oh, okay. Not close. Oh, Lote said. Uh, oh, she has one in green. Oh, perfect, perfect. Oh no, Steve has one in green. Okay, so evidently a couple of people already know about this. That's great. That's great. Uh, Okie dokie. With that, let's move oh, on. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is so exciting. You don't need it. But you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okay, dokie. New month, new theme. So mm -hmm. I asked the patrons. The options were gadgets with Christmas lights, New Year's resolution gadgets, or dual purpose gadgets. Those were um, our categories. Mm -hmm. Mm, I'm going to say no to the Christmas lights. Oh. Um, what was the second one? It was New Year's resolution gadgets, gadgets. or dual purpose gadgets. Oh. I'm going to go with dual purpose gadgets. Okay. I will tell you, this is the closest a Patreon poll has ever been because it tied... Oh. <laughs> and the winners of the tie were dual purpose gadgets and New Year's resolution gadgets. Okay. So yesterday when I, I had to buy something, I was like, <laughs> I have got to decide. So I decided I'd throw in my vote and I would vote for one. So I voted for New Year's resolution gadgets and tipped the scales and made okay. <laughs> New okay. Year's resolution. You can see my vote here. Um, and I wrote up a little thing yesterday when I did it as a, as a hey, everyone, I'm closing the poll. And I'm, I'm choosing New Year's resolution gadgets. So um, 
So yeah, New Year's resolution gadgets will be our theme for this month. Thank you everybody who uh, participated. And uh, so I recorded uh, here, this is, this is the gadget. And uh, I recorded a video about it, so let's take a look. New Year's resolution gadgets is a very fun category for me because I have so many goals I'm trying to achieve this year, uh, next year, and into the future. One of them is to run a bit more. And so to help me out, this is one of the gadgets that I've gotten in the past. It is a water bottle, but it has quite a few features specifically for running. First off is that it isn't a hard water bottle. This is like a bladder. It is a uh, like just a, a sack that you could fill uh, your water with. You see all of the measurements on the side. This is perfect for when you're trying to uh, add supplements. You want to make sure that you maybe you're at 500 milliliters. That's very typical. That sort of thing. You can although that isn't very much, accurate. Uh, water is in there, so that's one feature. The next would be that uh, this can strap to your hand. So as you're running along, you can kind of move it around. You can hold it one way, you can hold it another way. Uh, it's a nice way to kind of make sure that uh, you have your water bottle attached to you and you're not constantly worrying about gripping it and holding on to it. Um, another nice feature for runners is that the opposite side from the water access, you have a pocket. And this pocket has some uh, mesh lining in there. And this is plenty for oh. credit cards. Uh, a small cell phone may fit in there. Um, and of course, some money and things like that. Your ID would be a, a perfect thing to put in there. Uh, there's also this strap along your hand area. And that'll kind of help cinch up the bottom of um, the water bottle as you're running, especially as you're running uh, low on water. Uh, you can kind of keep it up there. Uh, this strap also has this nice reflective material on it, which kind of helps if uh, it's at night and there's headlights, it'll uh, bounce off of that and, and make you a bit more visible. So let's go ahead and fill it up. Uh, the capacity is 17 ounces and a typical water bottle like this is uh, 16.9 ounces. That's about 500 milliliters of water. So this is really the same size as a typical water bottle. Uh, so we can fill it directly from this bottle. And uh, you just, I mean, this is just how you fill it. You fill this obviously at home. You probably put, wouldn't pour one plastic bottle into another. Uh, so you can see that it, uh, it's not quite filling everything. We still have a bit. Um, so it's, uh, and I've noticed this too, is that it's not a perfect exact uh, 500 milliliters or, a, you know, it claims 17 ounces. Uh, I say you get about an ounce uh, less than that. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, it's not that big of a difference when you're running. Uh, the spigot here on the top is nice too, because it doesn't have any like moving parts. Uh, this is just something that you'd squeeze with your teeth. And when that happens, oh, the seal uh, allows the water uh, to pass through. So you can kind of just suck on that uh, to get the water, which is nice and easy. I'm not constantly needing to pop something on and off. It does come with a lid and the lid is attached to this ring down here, which is honestly kind of annoying because when you want to undo this, the lid can sometimes like it, anyway, it's just weird. I have to always take the lid off if I want to unscrew the cap, which uh, I just find really annoying. Uh, that's kind of the most annoying uh, part of this whole thing. But other than that, you just, uh, as you're running, as you're jogging, you just grab some water uh, and it works uh, fine with that. Uh, all in all, uh, this has been a nice, uh, flexible, uh, usable uh, bottle for me. It cost about 17 bucks, uh, which was a great price. And uh, I in, have uh, uh, enjoyed using this while doing my, my long runs. Okay, dokie. Okay. That, that's very it. nice, there very nice. So if you're looking for a nice flexible uh, bottle, um, you know, I got this, there it is, Join Prime. If you're a Prime member, you can get it for the uh, 1798 there. Um, uh, but yeah. Can't, I can't complain. Um, I enjoyed it. Honestly, I forgot to mention in the video also, you can just pop this lid off, uh, which is what I have done for a few runs because if it's kind of annoying to kind of put it on, put it off. Um, and so you can just pull, oh my God, I'm spilling the water, water everywhere, but you can pull this lid portion off. Uh, it's just that uh, I found um, if I want to throw it in the back of the car, the silicone around this mouthpiece kind of picks up fur and dirt kind of easily. 
Um, so what I've actually been doing is leaving the lid on until I go run, and then I'd leave it with you know the car or wherever I go, uh, and then run without the lid um, is what what I've been doing. Uh, so there you go. The uh, er, oh, how do you even say this name? Ermix. Ermix. Uh, quick. Oh, you can quick. carry a phone in there. Yeah, I have small phone. So oh, here, let's. I, I can kind of show you. Look, yeah. Especially now, this has water in it, so you know that's one of the factors that you got to keep in mind. Oh yeah. Um, and so this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and. And no. It's not quite. I can. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. It looks like I was able to make it fit. Okay, well, this is actually probably one of the biggest phones on the market. So it did fit, honestly. Wow. I didn't wow. think it would. <laughs> I, guess I'm, I guess I just assumed it was too small. Um, but there you go. Uh, it does, that does work, which is uh, good to know. So there you go. Um, that's all I think I have to say. I think there's nothing else Very to nice. Say. Very that's nice. So there you go. Uh, looking forward to uh, uh, New Year's resolution gadgets. Unless people want... I don't know if it'd just make it too complicated to bit bounce back and forth since everyone, since there was a tie. Let's just keep it a New Year's resolution. Well, gadget. you know, they, uh, just put that on. You can, you could just I'll put say it on next, next month. month I'm going to do the month. other thing, or sure. you can just put it back on the poll for next month. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect. Although we'll do that. Uh, uh, in January, I don't think we do. Right? It's all yeah. CES. January, we typically yeah. don't have a, a a category because of CES. So we just fill our episodes with CES gadgets. Um, so yeah, uh, but yeah, we can throw it on for for February or yeah, we'll find something else there. Uh, tell me an idea in the in the comments of the Patreon if any any patrons have any ideas for that. Anyway, uh, moving on, let's head to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse. Farm. Okay, our most loyal and frequent contributor, Mo. Uh, subject, a must-have for pet owners. And here is Mo's video. And, and with an... Acting, a whole acting ensemble. Here's his oh, video. Are we going to have to worry about like a Tony or a yeah, Emmy? daytime um, Emmy? Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I'm hey, whose pet panda is this? <laughs> Brother, what do you think? I don't know, but it looks like it has one of those fancy ring tags. <laughs> what is a ring tag? It's one of those ring tags that you scan to contact the owner directly. How do you use it? And the front has the logo and in the back has a QR code to contact the owner directly. All you have to do is scan the QR code directly with your phone. And you'll reach the owner. <laughs> this is Let great. me show you. So this is what came up on my Safari browser. Aww. This is great. All I have to do is hit contact owner. I'm going to choose to call the owner. Ah, it's working. Well, the owner was really Hello. close by. <laughs> Hi, I just found your pet panda. What a coincidence. Oh my God, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Where are you? Sounds like he's in the same room. So this is the ring pet tag. And as you saw, once I'm covering my QR code because then I'll receive a bunch of calls if I put <laughs> this up on YouTube and people see it. Um, but you'll get your own unique QR code when you set it up uh, with the ring account. You'll need an account to set this up, but others who find a pet will not need a ring account. Go through Safari and you'll be able to contact the owner via phone or text to let them know that you have found their pet. And as you saw, it works really well. I get a number from Georgia and uh, I don't know 
what that number is, but it must be a ring number that they use for this program. Uh, pretty cool. Pet ring, pet tag. I think everybody uh, will, could, anyone with a pet should get it. Guess how much it costs? $20? Uh, nope, $10. $10 oh. for this tag. Oh, wow. And it's free, um, to my understanding, to set it up and everything. And I think this is even like, this is pretty amazing because it's not even, I, I would even like put it on kids' backpack. Yeah. Yeah, and this Put is it amazing. It could even be used for uh, other lost items or even people as well. So Dick Chat and everybody in the chat room, I think if you have a pet, this is just a great idea. I that was my first time trying it out and it worked flawlessly, right? Yeah, I oh, received great. a text and I received a phone call. My son does not have the Ring app. He just went through a Safari uh, web browser and I bye. love the show. Please keep up the great work. Work. Thank you. Bye. 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 That is awesome. Sorry, I was digging around in my desk here to find a different gadget. Yes, didn't you have something similar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Tile made these stickers, and it's a very similar uh, concept where it's just a QR code, and they will, in the background, you know, run the website so that when the QR code gets scanned, there's a place for the you know to go. The, you know, there's a website landing page that is populated with information. Um, and and it so seems it seems like you are contacted through Ring. People don't really have your phone number. That was, I think, the biggest thing that I also wanted to mention is the fact that uh, a family member used the Ring to initiate the call, but then Mo noticed. I didn't get the phone number from my family member's phone number. I got it from a random phone number in Georgia, which means that they're masking the phone number, which is awesome because if you if you you could set up a QR code that just has your phone number information, but someone that you don't like sees that QR code at a coffee shop, takes a photo, now they have your real phone number. It's just, this is that's a really nice buffer to add in as a service uh, for Ring. So honestly, like props to them for thinking of adding a nice, that's a great value add uh, to no, buy this. Absolutely. Versus yeah, because I was worried too when I first saw the video. And then I, uh, when I heard him say the number was in Georgia, I thought, oh, this is great. Yeah, they're somehow, yeah, it they're being a middleman. To, yeah, exactly. Which is, exactly. that's, that's I, same thing. I was like, that is really cool. And that would make me buy a $10 tag is just to have a, 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 a way to moderate um, um, what, what's happening with the QR code. Um, and then of course, it's just turnkey. You know, adding your information is so simple. I assume, I haven't used it, but uh, I assume um, where setting up your own QR code and everything would just be a nightmare and making sure all that yeah. that's working, uh, I could see. And difficult. we should point on Mo stuck that tag on. Right. <laughs> so if, if if you go to the Amazon page, you can see that what you buy. Uh, does it show the back of it? Yeah, it does here. It, yeah, yeah. It looks. Oh, you a see? Lot yeah. Nicer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It'll look like that. That's great. So there and also, the other thing that comes to mind is the alternative that uh, mo most people are, are aware of is the microchip that's inside of animals. You know, you can microchip your dog or cat or whatever. All of my pets have the microchip. I Charlie's could, microchip, too. Right. I could honestly not tell you if that microchip is updated right now. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know what service they microchip my animal with. I assume that my information is on there. I have no, I, w I have no way to manage it. I don't know. I guess I could go talk to my vet, and it's probably going to cost 50 bucks to figure it out. I like this service from ring because i get to control it and i'll get to update it and it's only 10 bucks and um you know as long as my animal is wearing a collar uh it's not the same as a microchip it's not embedded there's still a little bit of risk yeah and, and there's no gps or anything and there's no it's gps just, or anything yeah, right, right, it's right. just information but honestly i am more confident that the pet tag would work than the microchip because also you say someone finds your pet, now they got to take it to a vet and get it scanned. And I can see being, you know, oh, is that going to cost me money? I just found this animal. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm just saying that um, 
this is it's nice that it's a low cost of entry and a product that works. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. And it's very cool, Mo. Thanks for sending that over and. I love the editing and the story and the, the panda. <laughs> it's perfect. It was great. Production value. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The Motori's production company. <laughs> this has been a Mo production. <laughs> um, yeah. Here it is on Amazon. And then uh, it looks like Steve D found a similar product on Amazon. And this one is less expensive. So this is only $6.99 but it still has the same type of QR code. And there's a 40% off coupon, too. Wow. So, but, but we don't know if they call right. your di number direct or not. Right. No idea about this service. But there is, this is kind of like Alibaba. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's there. It's cheaper. You guys can test it out. Um, so, uh, so that's great. Um, thank you so much, Mo, for sending that over. How can people send over their own videos okay any a gadget any kind of a gadget make a one to three minute video and put it up on youtube horizontal like mo did and just make sure we can see the gadget and hear your voice you can be in it if you want um new gadget old gadget and our favorite old tech gadget you know something you have in the attic you couldn't throw it out <laughs> because it cost a bundle and was really high tech 10 years ago. Uh, make a video, put it up on YouTube. When you upload, there's a drop down menu. Click unlisted if you only want certain people to see your video and send that link to us at mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. And we need some more videos. So do it. It's simple. It's simple. They don't, you don't have to script out. Uh, panda. And you get an autographed copy of Mad. Yeah. Oh, true, 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 true. But uh, anyway, that was great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone who uh, is sending in videos. And please send them in quick. With that, let's get to the letter. Now, uh, Steve Joe Hansman. Sends an email with a heater recommendation. I'm not a record a video kind of guy, but I have a, a recommendation for a heating product. I bought it two years ago. I use it on the floor under my desk to keep my feet warm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I love it because it uses less than 100 watts on high, has three power settings. High gets up to 120 degrees. It can roll up when it's not in use. It's very thin, so I don't trip over it. And it automatically turns off after four hours. And I paid $20 on sale, but I don't know what it's selling for now. And he said, I know it's sold as a desktop device, but it's way better on the floor. Man. I bought two for my sister-in-laws, and they bought them for other family members. Uh, so now it's it's twenty five dollars. Yeah. So I've this been is, looking for something similar, and <laughs> I have the strangest issue um, in my studio. I I have uh, I record my video and my camera separately, and I like to record them just on hard drives instead of like onto SD cards. So I have a little laptop set up. And I have my desktop set up. Here's my issue. I kind of set the laptop up and forget about it. This is off in a corner. The cats don't forget about this laptop and they love it. <laughs> it is hot. They love to lay all over this laptop and they have not once, but probably more than I can count, locked the laptop, turned off the touchpad. I don't know, they're like hacking into NASA servers <laughs> over there. They are somehow their little paws on that keyboard just absolutely destroy that laptop and uh, not to actually destroy it, but like it gets in this digital state where I can't wake it up. Like, it's just like, I don't know how <laughs> they break this laptop by just little tippy toes. So I've been looking for a heater because I can tell that they're doing it because it's hot because the uh, laptop yeah. is on, it's a little tad bit warm. If they lay just right, they will cover the exhaust vent, which I swear they're doing on purpose. <laughs> It'll make the fan run because the thing does get hotter. Anyway, so I've been looking for a way to 
to entice the cats off the this laptop. Could be, this could be it. And this might be my saving grace here because uh, a heating pad, I kind of had one for a little while, but it's um, most heating pads have that felt uh, sort of, you know, stuff around it, almost like a, um, uh, uh, what the, is it's that type more of shirt? Cloth like, than... like a flannel shirt material. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You know, and yeah, that flannel. and cat fur just doesn't mix after like a day or two. It just looks <laughs> like what died over there. Um, <laughs> and so this is looks great. This looks absolutely great. Um, yeah, and it's, like, it's not a nice size, thirty one inches. Yeah, or thirteen. I could definitely see this being used for a heating pad for your arms and fingers or you know what on it the floor. Say it. Maybe they changed the description. It says mouse pad or foot pad. Yeah. Uh, foot mouse warmer. Pad, foot warmer. Yeah. 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 And it seems like there is a lot. I didn't realize this was such a big category it, it because I'm right. seeing, I'm seeing so many. Now I guess some of these aren't heated. They're just pads. So you got to definitely keep an eye out for the heated option. Yeah. Um, but yeah, seriously, this seems like such a great idea. I never thought that a mouse pad could be heated. And <laughs> oh, she's sleeping on it. She's sleeping on yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, keeping her warm. Oh, that's awesome. Steve, this was great. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, Steve, that is a great recommendation. A product never seen. I have never seen that before. That's great. Uh, okay, thank you guys so much for uh, watching this episode. We're about to wrap it up. I want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. You guys are the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting us every single episode. We've been running giveaways for about a month. I think we've been doing a month of gadget giveaways over there. Every week we're putting up a new poll, uh, a new uh, form, and then I spin a big wheel, wheel and give away a gadget. Um, so it's been a lot of fun over there on Patreon, and uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone who supports us. If you like the Gizwiz and want to give back, please consider supporting patreon.com slash gizwiz, or head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab at the top of the website, and uh, you'll be taken to our Patreon page. There's also a PayPal link there on our website if you want to give that way. Uh, speaking of our website... You can head on over there to watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. When we're live, the website will update with the live stream, and uh, you can uh, chat along with everyone. And another thing has been added to the website, brand new, uh, as of 24 hours ago, the CES 2024 <laughs> fundraiser. I mentioned it before, uh, but we have a goal to uh, get to CES Whatever you can do, whatever tip you can throw our way um, is really, really appreciated. It would be really awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for those of you who are considering uh, the CES fundraiser. That'll, that's awesome. Um, speaking of Gizwiz TV, let's head over to Gizwiz. <laughs> I don't know how, I'm thrown off of my uh, uh, vamping at the end here. Uh, Gizwiz.biz is Dickie D's website where he writes articles about all of the gadgets that we cover on our show. So if you're ever needing a link to a gadget, uh, head on over to Gizwiz.biz. While you're there, play the original, what the heck is it? The one we love to parody on this show. Uh, and... You'll see the entire gadget, the whole gadget. This is not just a piece or part. This is the gadget. And uh, I saw these before on my international travels. This is a pizza lunchbox. Uh, you can put a, a slice of pizza. It's a little triangular. Oh, okay. You know, okay. Perfect slice of pizza lasts for up to 18 hours in that <laughs> lunchbox. If you think you know what it is, get a guess in. Six Mad Magazines for correct answers, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guess in over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.